everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure, elite figure, I should say, reviews for you guys. And you guys can see here in the flesh, we have the brand new Target exclusive Mattel WWE Elite Legend Series 8 in the house. Before we get started, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy, John. You guys have seen him in a few toy hunt videos. He lives in my neighborhood. He's been a friend of mine. We've probably known each other since we were like four or five years old. And so a huge shout out to John for hooking me up with the Legends. He went to our local Target, the one that I always put up on the channel. He found the these things and uh you know we, we made the deal happen for him to grab them and then me pay him for them so huge shout out to john man thank you so very much for this i cannot wait to grab this legend series 8 and crack them out of the packaging guys so we're gonna do a four in one review on all of them we have some more reviews going up later on today so be on the lookout for that but in the house guys you guys can see we have ultimate warrior eddie guerrero jake the snake and paul orndorff now let's go ahead and take a look at the front viewing windows of all these guys so first up we do have the ultimate warrior he comes with his coat he's got the nice head sculpt the suited body very excited for this. Got an image of all the legends on the uh, right side of the packaging or the left side of the packaging if you're looking at it right here. Same image on the side and then you have a beautiful image of the men and then you got some bio reads. If you want to read them you can pause it right now. Right now. And then we got a look at Eddie. Oh my god in heaven man. I have been waiting to review this figure so very long. On the back you guys can see there if you want to read it you can pause it now. Next up is Jake the Snake Roberts. We got some stuff going on with him. Front viewing window. He got a snake wrapping around his neck there. On the back you have a bio read read there. You can pause it now. And then last but not least, we have Paul Orndorff in the house and if you want to read his thing, you can pause it now. But you got all the figures listed in the wave and that pretty much does it. I like this packaging like the brown, goldish, Hall of Fame legend style packaging that we got going on. It kind of reminds me of the old figures we used to get, the Toys R Us exclusive and the Target exclusive legends that we used to get. But that's enough spit spatting, guys. Let's go ahead and crack these hoes out of the packaging. I'm excited, man. Viva La Raza. Let's get this shit started. Uh... So here is Legend Series 8 out of the packaging, guys, and holy Christmas day on farting Santa Claus's hat. This series rocks my socks off, except one of them, which we'll get into. But let's dive in officially, guys. We're going to do this similar to how we did the Top Talents Elite, so we're just going to pull up the figure, look at it, look at its accessories, compare it to something real quick, and then move on to the next one. So we're not going to spend a huge amount of time on every single one of the figures because we'd be sitting here till Christmas for sure. But let's shut the hell up and dive into Latino Heat, Mr. Lion. I cheat and steal himself, Eddie Guerrero. I have not had an elite Eddie Guerrero. I haven't purchased an elite Eddie Guerrero since the Hall of Fame one that I found back when I first started collecting that series, I think, was hitting Target. And I went to Target and they had one of the Eddie Guerreros. Is when they were doing like that Target Hall of Fame $10 set. I was hitting every single Target, buying every single Hall of Fame figure there was. I got the one Eddie Guerrero and then I ended up cracking the torso using the legs to make, I think, one of my Dolph Ziggler's that you guys see on my Dolph Ziggler shelf, if I'm not mistaken. Or I made it into a Chris Benoit. It was one or the other. But I finally have an Eddie Guerrero back in my collection. I have one other one. It's the Hall of Fame Target exclusive one, which we know. It's the it's the four-pack, you know, LWO Eddie Guerrero right here. And I do love this figure to death, but it ain't got nothing on this one, man. This one right here is the real deal Eddie Guerrero that we've been waiting on. Look at this head sculpt, man. It looks just like Eddie. I love this version of Eddie, this time frame of Eddie. I mean, this is just a beautiful piece. One thing I will say is I wish his arms, his arms could be bigger. You know, he had had pretty swole arms, guys. His arms were absolutely massive. He had the veins popping out, so I think you could switch out those arms if you wanted to. He has the same torso that he used to have, and dude, I just love this, man. Look at the white wrist tape. He comes with fisted hands, and he also comes with mic holding hands, black elbow pads, and he does have the signature I'm Your Poppy t-shirt, which is also beautiful. I love this t-shirt. I'm so happy to have this in the collection. I'm actually in the process of probably, I'm not exactly 100% sure on this just yet, but would you guys want to see a pink fantasy attire, Eddie? Guerrero. I think I'm going to do it, man. I think I'm going to take exactly this figure and just paint over all the black in pink. I think, I, yeah, I think I'm feeling that. I don't know why I want to do it. It's just in my head to do so, so I'm probably going to do that. Guys, let me know down below if you guys would like to see that, but this exact attire, but with pink tights with the with the same graphics. I probably wouldn't, you know, I'd, I'd look at it and see what I like, but probably going to do pink there, but this Eddie is so good, dude. Oh my God in heaven, and don't forget, you got to see what he looks like with the WWE Championship, and oh Oh my God in heaven. Oh my God in heaven. This is definitely up for figure of the year. This is going to be on everyone's top tens. I'm already marking it down. We're coming up on the end of the year very, very fast, man. This year flew the hell by. Thanks a lot, COVID. Piece of sh. But seriously, though, dude, this, this Eddie Guerrero is nasty. You got the golden black boots. I'm just super thrilled with this, man. I never had the Legend Series, so having Eddie Guerrero here in my collection, he also has the cross tat there that looks much more detailed than the last basic that we got of Eddie. He does have a basic that I 
I think you could switch out the you could switch out these arms for, or you could just use like Alberto Del Rio arms possibly. So I don't know. That's something we can look at on surgery. I don't mind the smaller arms because he was a smaller dude, but his arms were jacked. I mean, his arms were absolutely jacked. But let's move on to the next figure, guys. Eddie Guerrero though is the standout in the set. I just want to look at it all day. Just looking at that figure, I'm so glad I have two of them. I'll probably grab more because it's so damn good. But let's move on to the Ultimate Warrior. Now this is the figure that I was also looking forward to in the set. I'm not an Ultimate Warrior guy, but the suited bodies, man, these suited bodies are what you love to see. Getting in here, you have the old Ultimate Warrior head sculpt. I really like this head sculpt. I felt like my left eye was misprinted for a second, but it doesn't look like that too much now. I like the haircut. The color is very nice. I like it a lot. This is from his last night on Raw. I'm pretty sure it was like he, he appeared on Monday Night Raw, and then he sh passed away. Like, literally, it was like a few days later, I do believe, and, it, and he gave this in, in, very inspirational speech, and it was just an epic moment that they made into a figure, guys. So not only do you get the suited Ultimate Warrior body, but you also get this entrance coat. Now, I'm not sure if he wore this coat at a different date, like when he was actually wrestling, or if he wore this on that night. I can't remember. But you have all this nice airbrushing detail in the back with the Ultimate Warrior, the Intercontinental Championship. Very nice. You could put this on another Ultimate Warrior figure, but I'm going to go ahead and take this off. It's very similar to the Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior figure that we got, and we're actually getting another Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior, if you guys can believe that. I do believe that's the next fan vote that will be with Jeff Hardy, so that's very interesting. But you got the gray suit, you got the red tie and white undershirt. You have these nice brown dress shoes that look really good. My left leg right here is kind of loose, which I don't appreciate, and it's kind of like warped a little bit, so I'm going to have to fix that. But I love the suited bodies, man. We need more of them. And we also need like a built suited body or a slim suited body. This looks okay, but they need we need updated like suit, like nice slim fit suits like Finn Balor and guys like that. So I still like this a lot. It looks great. If you guys want to put the mask on there, I do believe it fits the figure. It doesn't fit the figure that well. It looks kind of odd to be honest with you, but you could probably put this on a crowd member or your, your you know, your concession stands for your WWE figure arenas. But there is the Ultimate Warrior. I also kind of feel like he's short, man. Like, look at him compared to Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero's like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, Ultimate Warrior is supposed to be 6'2", so I, I don't know if I'm agreeing with that. But his other accessory is a Scratch logo microphone, and then he does have pointing fingers, which I really like the skin tone on. The skin tone of these Ultimate Warrior hands look great. So he has the pointing fingers and the mic holding hands. Next up is the bum of the set, okay? This figure is, I don't know, man. I'm just not really feeling this Jake the Snake. I like the head sculpt. Uh, I don't know if you guys are getting the same vibe as me, but the head sculpt's too big for the body. Like, look at the torso, and the head just looks too big. I like these arms. I like the chest hair that we got going. And you guys know that for Jake the Snake, they always give him the long legs because he's a tall dude. But I feel like his leg proportions, like the size of his legs and the length of him compared to his arms and his torso, especially his torso. Just look how long his legs are compared to his torso. I think other Jake the Snakes had the ripped up Seth Rollins torso, so to see them switch that up, it kind of throws me off. This is a new Jake the Snake head sculpt that I think I like, you know, I think it looks like Jake. I just think it's too big for this body. Like, the torso is just completely throwing me off. Um, you do have the red trunks. I don't think this is the Chase variant version. I think the regular version is in red, and then the Chase variant version is in green, but you have your blue snake design going all the way around. Really plain Jane trunks like if like it's kind of crazy how you had such simple gear back in the day and nowadays you have such more flashy and nicey you know nicer looking gear it just kind of looks like you made this snake on clip art and threw it on tight so I think that's pretty cool you got the snake boots which are so sick man the snake skin boots are, are definitely the the thrill of this figure I love the black heels you got the snake skin going on and it's kind of ridiculous that Jake the Snake Roberts is in AEW you know he's a part of the AEW roster that you know he gets shown on weekly television pretty much all the time for AEW and to see him get a WWE figure while he's in AEW is kind of crazy but that is Jake the Snake. I don't really have too much to say about it. You know it is what it is. I really wish they had the ripped up torso. I think his other Hall of Fame figure that we just got or not just got but we got it like a year or two ago with the white tights. I think that one was superior. Maybe that was a flashback Walmart exclusive. I can't remember but the white tights Jake was much better than this one. Just wanted to come on here and tell you I forgot to look at his accessories, so I'm a stupid idiot jackass moron. And the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be Paul Orndorff. Now, he does come with his signature robe that looks really good. I like the silver on here. On the back, it does say Mr. Wonderful. So you have Mr. Wonderful, Paul Orndorff with the nice red robe that you could put on other figures if you guys wanted to. It is tied right here in the front, which is super nice, which sucks because as soon as I untie this, I'll never be able to tie it the same again. Like, the, the way they package it is the best it gets because after that, you're done for. But here's 
here's Paul Orndorff. I do want to put the robe on so you guys can see exactly what he looks like in the robe if you guys were wanting to see that. Now, this Paul Orndorff, it'll be interesting to see before my time, so I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the Paul Orndorff. I honestly, yeah, dude, he looks badass in the robe, though. The robe looks really good on the Paul Orndorff. I really like the head sculpt we're getting with this guy. I like the body choice. I like the trunks. They are solid red. He is on ball joints. None of the rest of them are on ball joints. If you guys were wondering, these three are not. Paul Orndorff is on ball joints. He's got the good skin tone. He has the black. Regular knee pads. I love these boots. The red with the silver and white looks super duper clean. And I think what I want to do with my Paul Orndorff is turn him into Chris Masters, man. Don't be shocked if Chris Masters finds himself in the MDT pick fed somehow. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna turn Paul Orndorff into Chris Masters. We'll see about that. I mentioned it in my fix-ups video, but there is our Paul Orndorff figure, which I like. I think it's really good. He also has the, the, uh, the newer, I guess, newer articulation on his arms. But uh, one thing I also wanted to do is compare this Ultimate Warrior to his in-ring gear. So you guys can see, look at the height difference right there. So there's one Ultimate Warrior. I think this is Elite 26 Ultimate Warrior. And then we have the Hall of Fame Target Exclusive Ultimate Warrior. So you have your former Target Exclusive and then the other one. This is a really badass figure. I really like this Ultimate Warrior that I'm holding in my right hand. I like the colors of it. I think it looks really fantastic. I like the attire. And it's one of the first like Mattel figures that I got at retail because I went up in there. Like, I used to just order everything, but then I uh, started buying at retail, and this was one of the first ones I got. And it's a really good one. I really like it. And I'm not even an Ultimate Warrior guy, but that's a damn good football figure. But anyways, guys, that pretty much does it for our full set review on Legend Series 8. I really like the set. Like I said, I think it's a really great set. Be sure to leave me a comment down below on what you guys think because you can get a shout out in a future video. A huge shout out to Little Louise for this comment on our last video. He said, at this point, they should just discontinue the basics as all they're good for is head sculpts. And I definitely see the logic there because, you know, it doesn't seem like a lot of collectors buy them, but the reason they continue with basics is because they're the best selling in the line, guys. They actually sell the most out of any figure. They're really cheap. You gotta think they're like 10, 11 bucks at Walmart. You gotta think about like if you're a kid and you're like four or five or six and you're going down the toy aisle and your mom says you can get one toy and then they just see a John Cena basic. They don't care about the articulation. They're not looking at the accessories. They just see John Cena there and they say, instead of getting an elite Adam Cole, I don't know who the hell Adam Cole is really, unless they do know, but if they, you know, more recognizable faces, Roman Reigns, John Cena, Braun Strowman, they're like, oh my God, John Cena, gotta have it. And they buy it and they sell out. Basics sell like crazy at retail and that is the name of the game. So yes, for regular collectors, like big time collectors and myself, yes, head sculpts are pretty much all basics are good for unless you're just sitting the figure on the shelf so you don't have to worry about articulation. I mean, majority of my collection are elite figures and a lot of them just stand there unless I'm doing photography or I'm doing pig fed stuff. But I like my figures to move around. I just can't use a basic, man. I don't know what it is. I like to take my figures off the shelf and pose them around randomly. It's just super fun to do that and I can't do that with a basic figure. But anyways, guys, that does it for our full set review on Legend Series 8. I would love to know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Stay tuned later today. We have a Decade of Domination elite figure review going up, so definitely stay tuned for that. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Damn, I love this Eddie Guerrero football figure. Actually, you know what? That reminds me of something. I gotta, I gotta do one more comparison. Mmm. Breaks my heart, man. Breaks my heart. Two of my favorites to ever do it right here. I remember it like it was yesterday. WrestleMania 20. Had to see it in figure form. I know this isn't the right attire, but the sentiment is the same. Mmm. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Thanks for watching.